Hey YouTube, it's me, it's Emmy. I'm back eating another country. Uh, trying to wrap things up actually before we move. We're moving really soon. So, um, eating my last country before we go. So let's just get started, shall we? Um, yeah, so Emmy eats Ireland. Got a great big package from Miss A. Uh, thank you so much for sending it to me. She said she wanted, she sent me a little letter. And she said she was going to send me a can of Heinz white beans. Um, best heat it up and eat it with sausages or meat or eggs um, for breakfast. Um, but she said that it would have made the, of course, a tin of, of beans would have made the package very, very heavy. So I said, oh, please, don't don't put canned goods in there. Um, but she did send me lots of other sweets. So that would have been interesting. Emmy eats um, beans. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get started. Start with something that seems very kind of the epitome of, of Ireland to me. Um, and, and it would be something like a shamrock. So she sent me shamrock shortbread um, by the company O'Neill's. So I love shortbread. So I think I'll really enjoy this. Um, I mean, what's not to love about shortbread? I mean, butter, flour, more butter. Oh my goodness, they're huge. Look how big they are. I was expecting them to be small. Look how cute! Shamrock. Is it really a shamrock if it's only got three petals or three leaves? I thought, oh, that's a four leaf clover. Huh. Goes to show how much I know. Anyways, beautiful cookie. And, um, let's try it. it smells really buttery. Nice big cookie. Let's try it. Here we go. Mmm. Yum. So those of you that love shortbread, like Lorna Dunes, or I think that's what they're called, you'll really enjoy these. I know exactly what it is. It's a really rich, buttery cookie. Um, a bit crumbly. So crumbly in texture. This is a little bit grainy, actually. I wonder if they use whole wheat flour. Um, and just tons of butter. So basically, this butter is the star in this. Butter and sugar. And it's delicious. Those of you who've never had shortbread, highly recommend it. It is so good. Okay, let's try uh, some candy. Um, I have a feeling that this is probably something that can be found um, all over Europe and maybe England and all over Ireland as well, but she sent me this. It's a Nestle Toffee Crisp. All these candies that ne Nestle makes that I never knew about. Gee whiz. So I think this is going to be maybe like a wafer because it says crisp and um, toffee because it says toffee. I'm so clever. Milk chocolate. Woo! Wow! Apparently I'm not so clever. Mmm! That's really good. So... The toffee is actually a layer of caramel on top, and inside, rather than a wafer, then I guess, it's like Rice Krispie Treats mixed in with chocolate. I don't know if you can see that. So below the toffee layer is a bunch of Rice Krispie Treats mixed up with chocolate, and so they're crispy, but it's, um, it's not a wafer at all. Yummy. sweet but not overly dense and the toffee isn't when I think of toffee I think of hard hard toffee like a Heath bar or a score bar you Americans um, but this toffee is caramel it's different so maybe in Europe um, toffee means something else learn something new every day Tesco I believe is a grocery store in in the UK um, Tesco and this is plain chocolate di digestive biscuits. Sounds really appetizing, huh? No, I actually love digestive biscuits. They're just, they're great. They're kind of just a, a standby, really. They're just, um, how do you explain what a digestive biscuit is? It's kind of like those cookies that kids, babies eat, those teething cookies. Really plain, that, that doesn't sound very attractive, but it, they are, they're delicious. They're really light and uh, not so overly sweet and paired perfectly with tea. But I've never had chocolate. I've never had ones that shaped like quite like this. 
So let's try it. Oh, these are kind of similar to Jaffa cakes. So it's a biscuit coated with a layer of chocolate. Yum! Here we go. Let's try it. Oh, cute! Look at that. It says sweet meal digestive biscuits. Love that. That's so old fashioned. All right, let's try it. Mm. Really good. So there's the biscuit layer, and the biscuit's not crisp. It's kind of um, a softer biscuit, and um, definitely grainy. I think there's definitely some whole grain in that. Um, maybe even some cornmeal. Maybe not cornmeal, but maybe whole wheat, coarsely ground. It definitely has this kind of a gritty texture, um, but nice, nice and earthy. It goes really well with that thin layer of chocolate, dark chocolate. It's really good. Really thin layer of chocolate, enough to give you a hint of chocolate, but not to make it overly sweet as to um, take away from the biscuit. But that's really good. Great standby and I think perfect with any kind of hot beverage. I say that a lot, I know, but I like tea and I like hot beverages. So this is made by Cadbury. It's called a picnic. It looks almost healthy, doesn't it? It's called A Feast Full of Peanuts, Caramel, and Raisin. So when I was a kid, I really detested raisins, especially when they came in those sun-made boxes and they would get squished in the bottom. I thought raisins were so gross, but I've come around. I think raisins are okay now. So, <laughs> let's see. Picnic. I've never had a picnic before. Mmm! Picnic's rock. I think there's some crisp in there too, similar to the toffee crisp. A little bit of crisp in there. So it's held together just with the, the caramel. So it's got a really nice uh, soft texture. And it's not overly sweetie dense, like a, like a Mars bar or like a Musketeers bar, Three Musketeers bar, where it's just like super dense with like nougat and sugar and stuff. Um, because it's mostly peanuts and raisins and toffee. It's delicious. I really like that. I think that's my sort of ideal candy bar. I'm not a big candy bar person because I, you know, like I said, they're a little bit too sweet for me. Guinness is probably the most famous Irish beer. Um, these are toffees made with Guinness. Yum! Inside, are these really charming toffees. What they call toffees. I would call that a caramel. Or caramel, but like I said, you say tomato, I say tomato. They're called toffees there. So, so it smells maybe slightly of beer. It's kind of malty, not really beer, but malt. Let's try it. Mmm. Sorry, I'm trying to taste for the beer. I don't taste it. This is very similar, so it's this is what it looks like in cross section. It's not like a caram caramel in the sense that it's chewy at all. It's a little bit chewy, but it's very similar to the Polish candies that I had, the Chizki, no, Krofki. Very similar to Krofki in my um, I mean it's Poland video um, in texture. It's kind of it's soft. Um, and slightly chewy, but very caramelly um, and buttery. Delicious buttery flavor. But I can't say that it tastes any Guinness. I don't I didn't taste any beer at all. Um, it definitely has a complexity in terms of a, a caramel. It's not just like plain buttered caramel or salted caramel. Um, maybe that's it, but I, I can't say that I can make the distinction if someone were to give this to me and say, aha! That's Guinness. Actually, I think Guinness itself tastes very quite chocolatey. So it's interesting that they put it in a toffee. I think maybe it would be better paired with chocolate. Maybe. Another Cadbury product, um, which I've never had before, called Dairy Milk Buttons. This is really cute. At first I just thought, oh look, it's just 
the chocolates, but it's the little owl. So cute, little owl. And sure enough, just little buttons of chocolate, really thin wafers, but look at this. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. On the bottom, it's stamped with Cadbury. How cute. See that? So let's try them. This is a great serving size. Mm. Great. All it is, they're just milk chocolate buttons. But because they're that size, they just melt in your tongue. That's a delicious way to consume chocolate. In my UK video, I had the Jaffa Cakes, and they're made by a company, McVitie's. McVitie's? McVitie's. I don't know how you guys, you Brits, say it. But someone corrected me. I said McVitie's, and someone's like, ah, You said McVitie's. That's funny. Well, I'm glad I can make you laugh. So there's another, um, something else called Mallows. Mallows by um, McVitie's. 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 Perfect. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that. Look how they're wrapped. They almost look like a macaron. Look how cute. It looks like a little doorknob. Here we go. Tadakimasu. Sweet. It's good though. It's like um, a, mm, similar to like a s'mores. So it's got a chocolate cookie on the bottom, a layer of marshmallow. It's very soft and chewy, all coated in milk chocolate. And you know, I'm not actually a big fan of marshmallow, but this is actually quite good. It's like the perfect kind of texture and not so cloyingly sweet. Um, that's actually pretty good. Wacky Wooly Ireland Lollipops. 12 fruit flavored lollipops. Oh, look at this. It's a lollipop with a sheep on the, in the cross section. Adorable. Look, oh, there's a yellow and orange ones too. Yellow, orange, and yellow. Look, this one looks like it's scared. I'm scared. This one actually looks more like a sea monkey. Brrr, brrr. This one looks a little more sheep-like. Oh. This one looks like it's blowing in the wind. Like, whoa! It's fighting a losing battle against the wind. Ah. Alright, ready? It's not lime. It's some kind of maybe apple? I don't know. I'm not a big hard candy fan, so I'm not going to eat much more of this. Um, but I'm not sure what flavor that is, but it's so stinking cute. I love how the, all the, the, um, the sheep are different. They're not all the same. And they, <laughs> like that one. So, I think this is um, very cute. I think the kids would really love this. But in terms of flavor, not really distinctive to me. But it's a lolly, right? It's a lollipop. So, lollipops are fun. Alright guys, that's it. I'm wrapping up my show for Ireland. Thank you, Miss A, for sending me such a great package and letting me taste Ireland. And I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. So, I'll see you in my next video. Leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, bye!